Girl, if I was you, <laughs> hey, girl, if I was you, it's ended so many relationships. <laughs> Oh my God, man! Quit listening to your friends. They said you, girl. If I was you, she already single. She ain't even with nobody. Why you letting the girl? If I was you, chick, tell you what you should go do to fuck up your relationship. You listen to the girl. If I was you, I'm, I'm, I'm fuck that girl. <laughs> so, look, soon as she, soon as she, she leave you, you gonna hear she, she gonna hit you. I am so sorry for her acting like that. That's what she, she was wrong. Me that she was wrong Goofy. for that. And now you didn't left me, and she gonna come mess with me. And you know why? Cause you let her tell you, girl, if I was you, girl, if I was you, me, girl, I want to be you. Yeah. <laughs> girl, if I was you, I would take care of that nigga. But she going to tell you all this, all this <laughs> uckery. So you go do something stupid. And now look, now you done lost your man to your best friend. And now you hate both of them. Yep. And they happy. She, they, <laughs> as can be. <laughs> Girl, if I was you. <laughs> hey, let's get into Cap Effect. Is that enough? He got the videos. We good, Tyler? Good? All right. All right. That was some look. good vamping right there. <laughs> <laughs> you see that shit? You didn't see it on the camera, did you? No. You said, okay. Y'all ain't seen it. I ain't seen it. All right. Let's and get, we live, man. We can't get away with nothing. I don't, I don't care. Let's get to the, uh, first, the first one I sent you, uh, Tyler. Let's do that one. A real man will leave you. They're not going to go back and forth with you. They're not going to argue with you. They're not going to beg with you. They're not going to plead with you. You will get a warning at best. And if it's no change behavior, they're out. <laughs> Cap hey, fact. one first. Let me address the music in the back. <laughs> Why do we have to go to church for that? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I, thought, man, I thought she was about to drop a Jeez. hard 16 after that. <laughs> Like, man, anyways, though. Yeah, it's like 10 seconds of the video. She might have some bars. At hey, the I might use that for an intro for something. Uh, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, big facts, though. Big facts all day. Because, uh, yeah. And But only thing, well, I thought she said he won't bed with you. No, she, that's what the, the thing That's why I was like, all right, now that's cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she said beg. Yeah. So she's right about that because it's definitely, I've been, it's been times I've been in that situation. Watch it, me too. What's good, bro? <laughs> Sorry. One of the comments. And it was, uh, it was definitely been times I've been in that situation and I might have been like, okay, now I understand that this will never go where she intended to go or where I thought it could go, but I might still stick around for a little bit because, oh, you know, oh, it's, my... it's nice in here. Darnell said so, cap. He said, that's Cap. Why you say that, bro? Explain. I know, right? Now I need him to tell me. I know. Explain how many, what how many, was Cap, my How friend. many women he let cheat on him? I know. I, <laughs> look, I ain't going to hold you. I seen that. I was like, oh, that's fact. Because me, I'm the kind of person that's like, I am patient. Like she said, you'll get, you'll get some warnings. But, like, you just keep crossing boundaries and crossing lines with me, I'm going to leave you. Like, I'm going to dip. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, my self-respect is going to always trump whatever you trying to accomplish. So I seen, I seen, I'm like, oh, this facts. Like, I'm not, I, mm -hmm. I, it don't even matter. I'm definitely going to be a part of there. Yeah, like, and it could be small, as small as you just saying, like, we talking and having fun and you just saying bitch every now and then a little too freely. Mm -hmm. Don't never call me that. Don't call me that. And then, or something as serious is like, you entertaining niggas and, you know, you, it's this work dude or you going, or whatever, I found you doing something super mm -hmm. egregious. Whatever the case if I set a boundary or say something or this, I won't be won't be tolerated. This a non negotiable, as they like to say. Non negotiable. Then that's what it is, and then we'll assess forward. You might get put in a category where okay, now it's okay to cheat on you because I don't take you serious mm -hmm. now. So that's, that's whatever. Thing. But when I was in my therapy, though, we discussed that. Like, it's, it's it's reasons why I'm like this. But like, the more I love somebody, the more I be willing to like move boundaries back for people I care about, right? Mm. Versus. Definitely. If this is my boundary, it's supposed to be a hard boundary, period. No matter who that person is, like, you cross this line, you over there. Like, mm -hmm. and I and I usually move it back to people I care about. And I, because I, I told you this on the podcast, like, I've never stopped loving somebody I love. Like, I move the boundary back and give them room to say, I'm sorry, or my fault, or whatever. And I just be moving the boundary. But what happens is when you move the boundary, people don't know where to stop. So now when you're trying to make them stop way over here, when the boundary was really way back over here, you let them move so far through that they think like you tripping now that you like, okay, look, this is this is far as you can go. So then when you make a choice or you make a decision, they think like you just made like some random decision. Mm -hmm. And nah. it's like, no, nah, if you'd have been somebody else, we would have checked that boundary way back here. But because mm -hmm. I care about, and, that, and that's even with my mother, like the mother is in the, I moved the boundary back a lot. And that's why yeah. we went through our thing. But in general, 
Don't move your boundaries, bro. Yeah, the mom, mom. Leave that, leave that boundary the right boundary. there for everybody. Moms get the boundary, you know, like with the linebacker pushing the thing back. And she just keep moving back. That's mm-hmm. that's how the moms push the boundary line. She just the, the Philly keep uh, moving tush it push. back, you know. Uh, damn, I had another dope ass metaphor too. That uh, oh yeah, as far as what you were saying too about like uh, like loving word people, Darnell. Like as far as you were saying like uh, loving people and having them <laughs> and having like to not really. What you said, you don't never stop loving somebody that yeah, you Yeah, I never love. stop loving somebody I love. I could never stop loving somebody that I love, but I will get far away from you so I don't have to love you as often. Mm-hmm. You I know? love you from a distance. Yeah, so because if, if, I'm, ar- if I'm around you and I got to love you when I'm around you, then I'm not going to try to, I'm going to try not to be around you as much, so now I don't even have to display that love as often. I think with me, it's more so like you probably ain't even the person I love no more. Hmm. So... If you not even so say like it's somebody I knew when we was like fifteen, I love that person. That was my that was my homie or that was a chick I used to like really like in my puppy love whatever. Like I love this person. We way older than that now. Yeah. Who's to say you steal that same person that I love? Who to say like if I see that same dude and I'm like, hey bro, let's go do this and do hey. that. He might not even, his interest ain't even gonna be that. I was just about to talk shit and be like, you still possibly love people that's not family at 15, but I had to take that back. Ah, hell yeah. I had to take that back instantly in my head because another thing I wanted to bring up, or ju- j- let me just mention this. We ain't even got to make it a segment. One of my highlights of last year, shout out to Quentin and fucking Ronald, man. They held me down last year. Those Quentin, was my, he, he watching too. Shout yeah, out to Quentin. Yeah. yeah, those was my high school, I mean, uh, grammar school friends. Known each other since we was kids. And I was, like, doing comedy, and they started supporting on Facebook. Then they started coming through and doing shows, Ronald, then drove up. Like, they didn't came to Laugh Factory when I went to Chicago. We didn't have a <laughs> session in the cop, man. Love to y'all, bro, for real. That was, like, one of my biggest highlights. So I definitely still got love for people I had when I was Hey, Q, no, nah, this silk, bro. This ain't no <laughs> shit. You better respect, respect the freshness, bro. I didn't bro. see what he said. <laughs> but he, I, said, he, said I got, he said I got the, the puff shiny suit joint. Nah, bro, this is silk. Don't you disrespect, bro. <laughs> That's my boy, Quinn, though. For real, man. Shout out, man. But, uh, yeah, though. All right, what's the next cap effect? All right. What? Is- <laughs> what is? What is this even? But I okay, okay. The most asked question I get is, "How are you so beautiful?" <laughs> the answer is, I don't know. I was born this way. I've always been like the most prettiest girl in class. Yep. Yep. In the world. Yep. Hundred percent. Craig. 100%. Capper fact. Big That's her facts. biggest. <laughs> Big facts. That's the most asked question. All day. <laughs> Big fact. If she say it, I believe it. You ain't getting me, Queez. You're trying to get me canceled. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me canceled. I got a career to try to sustain. No. She is beautiful as fuck. She facts. All right? If she believe it, I believe it. Yep. <laughs> Cap. <laughs> <laughs> he said, like, I ain't got no career. <laughs> I ain't finished my routine yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be good at that comedy shit. Oh, <laughs> but that's man. fact. That's not a fact. Excuse me. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's why, I, that's why I had to get off the, uh, the dating apps right there. It's for I real. I can't do dating apps, bro. I was only matching with. <laughs> bro, the only people that hit me up, them type people, bro. I'll be like, look, I'm not, like, not, these, these commercials are <laughs> fake. I swear, bro. Not re- these are I'm not, not I'm not saying I'm the most handsome dude in the world. I mean, I'm a pretty handsome guy. Like, I'm not an ugly guy. But, bro, I am not I, I'm not in the category of lookers <coughs> of the chicks that be trying to shoot their shot to me on, on dating apps, bro. Like, I feel like I'm better than that. That's why I don't do it no more. <laughs> I, I don't do no more dating apps. I don't even want to do no more. I met my ex on a dating app. I don't want to do no more dating apps, bro. I meet the chick the good old-fashioned way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> $40. <laughs> That's how I'm meeting chicks from now on. Except we ain't doing the date part. How much? When you go home? You go home afterwards? Oh, man. $40. Oh, man. Now I ain't taking you to no movies. Oh, man. We ain't going out to Applebee's. No two for 20 with a couple margaritas. No. $40. (laughs) You good? You not? Cool. Your friend want 40? That's how we doing it from now on, bro. I ain't doing no more relationships. I'm out the of crazy part is that 40 don't do it no more because everybody got OnlyFans. So. You right. You right. You right. 50. <laughs> That's it. 
Take it or leave it. Ain't nobody hitting your OnlyFans up like that. You got three subscribers. It's only ten dollars a month anyway. <laughs> you got thirty bucks coming from your three subscribers. Take this fifty. What you trying to do? That's how I'm on it, bro. No. Man, shout out to the girls with the ten dollar OnlyFans, man. Shout out to them. It's cool, man. The ten dollar OnlyFans and the uh, fifteen followers. For real. <laughs> I was going to say something as crazy. A mix, as a former mixtape rapper, I love it. I love to see the struggle. <laughs> Get them oh, numbers up. Shit. Figure it out. <laughs> we had to. We had to figure it out. You go figure it out. Get them numbers up. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not doing it. I'm for the, go to the next one before I say something crazy. Bro. <laughs> Biggest lie is be independent. Be self-sufficient. You don't need anyone. You'll be fine. You got this. That's not how we're designed. Human beings are designed biochemically for connection. They're designed to be codependent. They're designed to love each other. They're designed to be in tribes. Never in history have people not lived in tribes. It takes five, six people to raise a child because that's how much emotional connection they are required to have. Now, we now live in a hyper-independent society that is totally individualistic and teaching everybody, you'll be fine, you got this. Self-improvement, self-esteem, self, self, self. And nothing to do with a group affiliation. Mm. What happens is when you don't feel great, you feel like you've lost that life. Whereas when we had group settings, it's like, okay, I don't feel great, but my group is doing really well. My, my, my family is doing really well. My tribe is doing really well. I'm good. But now we don't have that resilience because we're totally encouraged to be solo. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Cap or first of all, I love the balance. I just love the balance love women, of the, a woman the ratchetness, like that, the ignorance, yes. and then you come in with the intelligence. Yes, see, that's what I do, bro. Yeah, I, bal- I, 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 I want to pick it's it nice, like, you know, got to nice balance, gotta balance I feel it you. out, bro. Uh, shout out to that lady, whoever that is. Very intelligent, I believe. Uh, I think that's big facts, what she was saying. Um, and also, the point of her, when she was explaining the whole self and self and all of that, it all, don't, don't get me to go, I'm going to try not to go too deep because go, you know me. Go pause. <laughs> I was going to say something super crazy What's crazy is I'm glad you didn't say it I, didn't, I, caught, I caught myself and would say Me have to pause what you said Because I caught myself and to say something super crazy But um, but okay uh, all right. When she was talking about um, the, the self and the self And all of that And we used to be in tribes and all of that It's something to that I believe And almost how they did the black family and separating people and taking the man out and now we it's almost like some worldwide now okay that's not enough we need these people to not be as connected so now yeah self this self that and if you got self this we can come in and we can help that but what we don't want you to do is have to go to your people don't rely on your tribe don't rely on this net Mm -hmm. group of love that you built through your life don't like have none of that the same and this don't this sounds like it's on some uh, selfish man, uh, chauvinistic stuff, mm-hmm. but even down to the people who do choose to live this life and are okay with it, the polyamorous stuff, the reason you can't marry more than one or the reason it's looked down on to have more than one husband or wife. Let's be fair. Husband or wife in the um, household because now you got three, four incomes in one household. Mm-hmm. You could really prosper and build a family, a, commu- a connection, a community. Imagine... You and six more people that think like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like uh, six more groups of people that think like you have that upbringing. And now y'all got this great community and all of that. They don't want none of that. I, I think I think in a lot of ways. So I think it's a lot of validity to what she's saying. I think in a lot of ways, like to the point you just made, though, and the point she made about people always talking about independence and self and self and self and self. People get so caught up in self that they don't see nobody else. So it's like you caught up in what you need, what you want, what you desire, what what I need. I, 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 self, 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 self. And the, and the fact you don't think about the collection, that's in a lot of different aspects of your life. You don't you don't even realize you do it because you're just bred to be selfish in today's society. We everybody even like the reason why people look down on Polly is because it's like, hey. You supposed to only be with one person. You so su- I supposed to be enough. I'm supposed to be great enough, bro. The re- the reality of it is this: there's no one person in the world that fulfills your one your needs. I don't care who they is. Yeah. You just be content with them and say, you know what? I'm accept you, flaws and all. The things I love about you, the things I don't love about you, the things I wish could change but not gonna change, the things that I see you changing that makes you better. You supposed to love that person. Period. 
this is what I love. I love you. I take all of this with you. And what happens is people don't because they start thinking about self. What I need. Okay, this ain't enough no more. Now I need more. I need you to do this. I need you to be this person. I need you to do this. It's like, no. At the end of the day, when you meet somebody, if you're going to love them, you have to love them where they at. You can't worry about what they have the potential to become. You got to love them where they at. Acceptance comes with love. And um, acceptance, uh, they... Their growth comes with the acceptance. Yep. And everybody's going to grow. Everybody's going to, you know, grow into different things. And, and I, I always say I'm matured, but nobody made me mature. I just, I matured. Life made me mature. Having kids, having different things happen, having different situations, I'm mature. But ain't nobody going to just come and tell me, hey, Quees, you got to be this level of mature in six months. Like, it don't work that way. And also, the vice versa, the other way, if you was with somebody who you was with before you had kids and grew up and matured, and then she didn't like you and wanted you to be mm-hmm. the way you were beforehand, I can't be the way I was before. I'm not him no more. now I don't know how to not be a father. Exactly. Because yep. I'm a father now. So that's, so, and that's what I was saying about, like, yeah, somebody so, you 15. I loved yeah. them when we was 15. That's my people. But, like, me at 35 ain't who I was at 15 and who he is at 35 ain't who he was at 15. Mm-hmm. So just because I loved it, that version of my bro, that don't mean this 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 version of him. Now I want to be kicking it with. It's the same thing like if you building with a woman. Like, Damn, yeah, he probably didn't grow. He like probably I, ain't grow yeah. like I grow. So it's like yeah. when you meet a woman, you got to love that woman where she at. You got to love that man where he at. And then hopefully y'all can grow together. But you can't be trying to force them to change to what you want them to be. It's never going to work, bro. Mm-hmm. Or stay. What or they, stay. What you want. Stay what you uh, want them to be or what you thought okay. they was or whatever. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh man, this is this is getting good. All right, we got that's yeah. it. We that's need it. more. That's we it. Could, that's it. All right, man. Look.